Application Gateway of Azure Portal is a very useful service because with the help of this particular service, we are able to manage the traffic for our application server that you establish or any kind of web server that you're planning to establish over Azure Portal. Hey everyone, this is Manjit Rawat, your online instructor, another class of Azure AG104. And in this class, I'm going to guide you everything related to the application gateway. This is also a type of load balancer, right? Recently, we completed the part of uh, normal load balancer or you can say that is standard load balancer that you can set up for any kind of load balancing like FTP server, storage or web services. But the application gateway is applicable for only the web servers. Let me tell you about the prerequisite first and after that we'll show you the all steps that help you to configure application gateway. Application Gateway is totally different from a standard load balancer and uh, Azure Traffic Manager and Azure Front Door because uh, in this case, what you need to do, first of all, you need to create your own VNet virtual network, right? And your VNet must need to contain at least two subnet in single VNet, right? Number third, we are going to create virtual machine, right? As a web server, you can go with virtual machine or you can set up your website by using Azure application services. And we can also host our static website with the help of Azure storage, right? Because Azure blob storage can help us to establish our static website. Number four, create application gateway. And then we are going to add virtual machine. I'm talking about the source of website and add to application gateway. So these five steps required to set up our application gateway and it will hardly take 15 minutes to run your application uh, services, run your web server to worldwide. I'm moving myself to the Azure portal that I can show you every step as we discussed. First of all, you need to create your own virtual network, right? Mandatory, although I have already created two different virtual network, web one, but unfortunately these virtual gateways, uh, virtual network are default one. So I don't want to go with default one. Let me proceed and create my own virtual network. This is Azure AG104 Live App VNet, okay? I'm going to proceed with the name of application VNet. Next, and this is really important page. I don't want to go with the default one. Let me choose my own and let's proceed with the minimum 25 and how many subnets you want to set up let me add two subnet one subnet will be applicable for uh, vm subnet you can say that with slash 26 right and the second subnet i'm going to add for application gateway All right, so we divided our CIDR value into different parts. The total capacity of CID, according to the CIDR value, we can connect up to 128 devices. We divided these two, uh, these, uh, these uh, IP address in two different subnet. One is for virtual machines and another for application gateway. No need to do anything, proceed with next. And you need to add minimum two virtual machines because you know that we are going to set up a different website on web server one and different website on web server two that we can easily identify. We are getting a response from web server one sometime. We are getting, we'll get a response from web server two. So it's mandatory for every Azure administrator. We should know about what exactly happened in the backend. And also we need to take care each and every services that require to balance our workload. So once our virtual network is ready to use with both the subnets, we are going to proceed and create a virtual machine in our VM subnet. And the second subnet will use to set up our Azure application gateway, right? It is in progress. It will hardly take two minute time. So it's almost ready to use. I'm going back to the virtual machine. Your resource group is Azure AG104 Live and location is Central US. So let me create virtual machines in the uh, same virtual network that we established. 
as your life again proceeding with the same name web server one do not proceed with the availability set or zone standard and operating system bit lightweight uh, definitely i want to proceed with uh, 2019 okay standard version 8 core 8 8 gb of ram and uh, 2 core of cpu enough and this is really important for us we must need to activate the port number 80 and 443 and rdp you know that definitely we are going to take the rdp of our virtual machine to configure ias service so let me put it in vm subnet next review and wait for a few more minute then create uh, proceed to create validation passed and uh, let me create one more virtual machine because we need at least two virtual machine to set up our uh, application gateway and this is also a type of load balancer again open virtual machine click create <laughs> web 2 this is another virtual machine that i am going to establish again same uh, port we need to add port number 80 and 443 3389 is also required let me put it into the same vnet right same subnet sorry review and create both virtual machines are in progress so it will take time wait for a few more minute okay are both virtual machines are ready to use so same step i'm going to use that we used earlier in uh, our normal load balancer configuration right you need to take the rdp of both virtual machines and uh, then install iias service because uh, this is these all are windows based machines so definitely iias can give us a platform to set up our own website right as it is let me take the rdp of a second virtual machine which is uh, web 2 connect and download the rdp file fine so we are taking rdp of both the virtual machine and then after that uh, definitely we are going to install iias service from uh, you can say that server manager dashboard add role and features right to install the ias service these steps we have already performed in our uh, standard load balancer uh, we successfully installed ias service on web server 1 so after installing ias you know we just need to open uh, C drive and uh, open INT perp. Go to the www root. Open IAS. Start using Notepad. 
right and let me type this is test web server one okay this is test web server one i'm going to save it as it is you must need to follow the same step for second virtual machine right the second web server not only the virtual machine and i'm just going to open this pc and again c drive int pub and ww root i is start open with the notepad this is test web server 2 okay so you just need to uh, type for identification this is a kind of website that we are trying to set up in both the server machine and if everything is okay we could with the both part and go back to the azure portal and this time we are going to set up our application gateway as a load balancer right so open load balancers it will give us option no no not hybrid environment uh, load balance uh, which is a part of network right so this is application gateways create new application gateway select all the information this is our container and the name of class app okay class app gateway this is the gateway name I want to proceed with WF uh, version 2 because the application gateway will provide you multiple security WF web application firewall that help us to protect our infrastructure number of instance count you can start from one and maximum number of instance we can put up to 10 because this application will also help us to set up our uh, auto scaling right any WF policy that you want to create it's totally depend upon you but I don't want to go with right now we'll do it later select your virtual network that we established with name of uh, app vnet right and in application in app vnet we already established our applica azure application gateway so it automatically find the different application different subnet that we established proceed with next definitely i want to create this application gateway for public test ip public okay click ok so front-end IP which is a part of our application gateway and normal load balancer that contain the IP address for your LB backend pool this is really important as you know that we must need to add backend pool and backend pool can help us to add our virtual machines so we created two virtual machine I'm going to add one by one this is private IP address for virtual machine one private IP address for virtual machine two uh, fine so we successfully added both the virtual machines please click on add two targets are available vm1 vm2 go to the next configuration part one front end ip address configured back end pool configured let's talk about routing table so under the routing table you must need to allow the port number 80 to allow the traffic right listener port number 80 no need to do anything click add back in target also test pool and back in setting must be port number 80 so all the setups are ready to use please proceed with next review and create so it will hardly take five minute time and once everything is okay definitely we'll get the access of our our website with the help of single public ip address of our application gateway we'll get the access of both web server that we established so let's wait we just proceed and it will take up to five minutes so wait for a few more minutes our application gateway is ready to use i'm just going to open the properties of our app gateway and uh, let me copy the public ip address right so application gateway need to search application gateways class app that we just created and i'm going to copy the public ip address that provided by azure itself copy and paste we are getting response from web server one and meanwhile i'm i'm, I'm going to open uh, another browser and paste same public IP address and let me get 
you need to give more workload right so then definitely it will show you the impact from web server 2 now we are getting response from web server 2 it means that our web application is just running properly is working fine and i hope everyone okay with the points that we discussed so far we are going to talk more about application gateway because that contains lots of setting web web application firewall backend uh, setting private link ssl certificate configure multiple options are available and that i'm going to guide you for now thank you so much do subscribe your on teach me cloud youtube channel we are going to connect soon and discuss more about azure networking thank you take care bye bye